In this video, I'm trying to sort out numerous little problems with this bent side spinet by John Storrs. Um, this note plucks fine, but when you release the key slowly, it, uh, the plectrum rests on the string and doesn't return under the string. And the problem is that the jack tongue isn't free to move backwards and forwards. So what I'm going to have to do is take the little pin out using a craft knife just to get under the edge of this. Be careful of your fingers. Not very good for a sharp knife but tend to cut on the end of the knife rather than the middle of the knife so that's not too bad. I've removed the um, the little pin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work the hole in the tongue just slightly bigger with the use of this pin set with a slightly oversized pin in it there. So I can then pop that the jack back together again lining this up gently as I do it. Well that went in very easily. Sometimes it doesn't and push the pins and it's a tight fit and doesn't come out. Now hopefully that solved that little problem. So however slowly I release the key, good. Only another 60 to go. Um, that one seems to be working okay. Yippee. On to the next one. That's plucking very loudly and it's resting, hanging on the string again, so two things. Check that the tongue moves freely, which it does. Check that the spring isn't too strong. The spring's on the back. I can pull this up ever so slightly, like that, to lessen the strength of the spring. So I'm going to take my voicing block and I'm going to just trim that ever so slightly like that, taking a little off the length and putting a little angle on the tip. Pop that back in again. If I release that very slowly, it still hangs and there's a bit too much of the plectrum protruding beyond the string, so I can trim that once more. It's also plucking louder than the neighbours, so I can reduce a bit of the thickness. That's called voicing, reducing the thickness of the plectrum. So there we go. And let's try that. This one hanging on the string and not going down far enough. So there's an adjusting screw there. I'll take a little screwdriver. I'm going to give it two full turns. Half one, half two, hope that's about right, and return that in there. Now I've got a little bit of movement, about a millimetre before the tongue, the plectrum hits the string. And so here I am hoping that was a useful video.